five, six, seven, eight. Welcome, Welcome back, back to late to, to, to the, the party, the, the best, best podcast in, in the world. world. And episode <laughs> seven. All right, we, 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 we <laughs> thank, thank you, you for tuning in, in and, and reviewing us on Spotify. Spotify. That's right, we have That's right. 100 positive reviews. Yay! Uh, so our Spotify rating is looking very good. Very good. And it's probably all thanks to it's, the episode seven song. Yes, all thanks that to we the episode all know seven song that, that we, we all memorize know every time. And and we all sing it when yeah. we're at home by ourselves. And I think the only day we got a bad review was the first day when yeah. some jerk was like, I'm going to mess with them now and gave us like a two Boom. or three star. And we've, we've been struggling against that ever since. Oh, so. it was definitely a one star oh, because it tanked us. It, it tanked, tanked us, us for from, that first day. We had five stars and then it was like, boom, 4.8. Like, yeah, two and reviews. I was like, Ugh. Yeah, yeah, like three reviews, 4.6. And I was like, yeah, we were like, a one. Oh. what a jerk. Yeah, we were done. Uh, well, but We've now recovered. it's back up to 4.9. Yeah, it's so. 4.9. So. Not that I care or look because no, I'm I, like... I go outside and I, I read books and Ooh, I... look at huh, you. I, yeah, I'm, I'm one with nature, so I don't even... What's the last book you read? No, God, no. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, if, if, if we're counting, uh, which we're not, if we're counting like <laughs> smutty, like... Korean no, web no, comics. No, no, manhwa counts. Oh, then all the time. Oh, okay. Then you read books all the time, <laughs> even I, though yeah, it's a graphic I... novel. I mean, yeah. technically it's still a book. It's words. So if you finished a manhwa within the last year, then you definitely and read I a book. And I finished like, I don't know, like 20, 30. Manhwa so. plots really are quite insane. You yeah. know, I know, I know about all of them through my wife. And she That would... was one of the things that her and I connected on, like before we met in person. Mm -hmm. And we were just like talking online. That was one of the things she was like, "Oh, do you read?" Because she likes to read some of like the really fucked up ones. Yeah. And I read. I would read some of them, but she was like, "Yeah, the darker the better." And I was like, "Okay." Yeah, they get really dark. And, yeah. and for those of you who may not be familiar with the term manhwa, it's essentially Korean anime that it's is, Korean web comics. I'm sorry, Korean web comics. Yeah. That is extremely uh sexually dirty not all of them a lot of like there's a lot of them like a lot of them do that thing that we see in a lot of animes where it's like i was reincarnated as the villainess yeah. and now my goal is to not die well yeah i mean that's the thing is they have very anime like plots but then they throw in like an insane like sexual or romantic twist like yeah, some oh do, if yeah. someone uh, jizzes on you you become stone and yeah. when you become stone you poop out gold well okay so that is sort of similar to uh pearl boy so Pearl, Pearl Boy, Pearl Boy was Got about it. a kid. And listen, before anyone gets, before the holier than thou crowd gets on my ass, they for this, don't listen to this. Listen, podcast. I sure hope not because yeah. I dropped it first of all. But it was about a boy, not a boy. It was a of age. Got it. <laughs> it was a young man, a young man, who every time he ejaculated he uh like pearls would come out got it so then this guy that was like uh, like a like a bad guy who was like taking advantage of him basically was like yeah like uh he was like prostituting whatever like he was basically like having him have sex with a bunch of random dudes so that he could collect, he the, could pearls, collect the pearls and got then it. he would sell the pearls and so it was like mm -hmm. about him trying to escape this guy and he meets this other guy and he's just like whoa you jizz out pearls and I don't know how that did the other guy jizz was. out uh, additional precious metals or precious items. Gems. Well, you know, I think if you're gonna jizz out a, a gem or something, like I feel like the pearl is the better way to go because, like, that's not gonna be rough. Like, imagine no, that's true. Imagine jizzing out like a diamond. Yeah, or an amethyst, or a ruby, something like that. Yeah. Basically, any of those. Yeah, basically amethyst. anything that's not pearls. Yeah, anything that's not pearls is gonna yeah. hurt way more. So now, now that our audience is caught up on what, what Manhua is, there was also yeah. one called Dear Door that she really liked. Yes, and what that was one. what was the perp, what was the plot of that one? So essentially, um, so Satan, uh -huh. uh, was it Satan? Yeah, it was like Satan or whatever, or like Lucifer is like the way the only way he can get from 
like hell to the like real world, like the mortal uh -huh. realm is by having creating a door uh -huh. and the door is basically like a human that he has to have sex with in order to open the door. Of course. So he meets this guy and then he's like, yeah, you are my door. So now we have to have sex with each other in order to like open up the portal. And to hell. Yes. Got and that it. one, honestly, that one was kind of sweet. <laughs> but there was one called Your Wish is My Command. And that one was about a guy who finds, um, and this is all, from other people telling yeah, me. Yeah, not I that she hasn't gotten encyclopedia, encyclopedic knowledge of this subject. You certainly no, because I am a good Christian woman. Yes, of course. And I am God fearing, so I would never. These these that. plots, but Hannah would always tell me about these plots, and my eyes would always glaze over about ten minutes in because it always devolved into complete yeah. nonsense. Well, yeah, because my wish is your command. It was like the kid he has a crush on his childhood best friend uh -huh. and then um the he's like really sad about it because he's like oh it's unrequited love like he'll never love me and then he buys this like dildo online and the dildo before he he opens the box up and then the dildo like turns into like a magical sort of like alien creature that's like hey so you are basically like a superhero now if like and if you kill if you like beat all these monsters you're i will grant you a wish and then he's like oh i can wish for this guy to be in love with me and but then like when he goes to fight he basically becomes like a sailor moon type uh -huh. superhero but the monsters that he has to fight like they don't want to kill him they're there you want to have sex with him got it so yes. they're very <laughs> rapey monsters <laughs> yes oh got it yeah yeah okay. yeah but he does defeat like all of them oh, like of yeah so and you, no yeah. harm done but yeah no and then but they that's only like some of the weird ones like the, some of them get we haven't even like talked about the omega verse Got it. Well, sadly, I don't know if we have time to go into the, the Omega. <laughs> well, I, I could spend this entire episode talking about I, all of this. I feel like my wife, with her artistic skills, I, I encouraged her to actually draw one of these, like web comics. She because, could. She could do that because I saw how they charge for them. You pay like a dollar for like another episode, another sort of series, and like there are websites where. You can buy them and she was like paying for them. And it seemed like it wasn't a lot of art. It seemed like there was a lot of sort of text, white space, and then like a sex scene and then white space. Yeah. And I feel like that was a pretty common thread. So I'm like, honey, you don't even you don't even have to draw that much. And if the plot is bad, it's almost better. And I offered to write her a plot and I did right there in the car. And she was very shocked. I was like, oh, it's about a guy goes into space and he meets a space alien who happens to only want to breed with humans and he can change his form to look like any human he wants. So he uses the space alien to change forms and start making money uh, by becoming a politician and taking the place of the president. But then he loses control of the space alien monster because now that he's president, he wants to have sex with other people. <laughs> you see, and like, I just, actually that wasn't the plot I gave my wife. I came up with that right now. That's great. I mean- See, I that would, would work. He Honestly, he has my vote. That sounds like a way better candidate than what we have oh, no. right now. Our presidency. Our presidency, because- uh, We're in big trouble. We, we did, like, you know, I watched, uh, I don't know how much you saw of the debate. I didn't watch the I whole thing. I saw enough. I, yeah, that was the thing. I was like, I saw enough. And I was like, oh my God. And it was just so funny. It's just so funny listening to them because they were fighting like toddlers. Like, uh, listen, we're doomed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's no better way to put it. Like they were like this... arguing about golf. He's like, <laughs> everyone's talking about I'm a way better golfer than you. And all the people, the people are saying, uh, quite frankly, quite frankly, I'm a way better golfer than you. And then, and then Joe Biden's just like, no, no, I'm. You're not no, a better you're, golfer. You're not a. You're not a better Look at golfer you. Than, than me. And I'm like, oh God. Yeah, the, this is supposed to be our best and brightest. They they symbolize us as americans and, and i feel like that sucks it you does yeah I mean? no but we're the laughing stock like everyone's like ah, i feel bad for you guys and i'm like fuck and and then like france just like voted out their like super right-wing like 
section of the government and like and the left one and like everyone's like really excited about it. And I'm like, and we can't do that. That's crazy. We, we're drowned. Our country's just drowned in like lawyer bullshit and it's this just weird, like, crazy election protocol that nobody really knows like the full extent of except for those directly involved with it. It is just these like old people and that none of them want to give up their seats and none of them want to give up their power. And that's why I think that we should treat the presidency like jury duty like everyone <laughs> everyone, <laughs> everyone gets a chance everyone oh. gets a chance <laughs> it's it's random it's random yeah it's random so you get a letter you be get- like you've been chosen to be president for <laughs> the next four years and you're like oh how do i get out of this and you look up on reddit <laughs> you're like how do i get out of being president it's like oh well tell them you're racist yeah, tell them, yeah yeah tell them that you're sick i'm you really can't do fascist it. yeah so i don't know if i'm a good i'm not a good candidate i don't yeah. i don't believe cops yeah i want to go to war with everyone I want to I wanna go to war with everyone. They're like, I don't know if this guy's right. I think we'd probably get a better president that way because we'd get somebody who really wants to do it. Oh, and we have to pay them as much as jury duty too. That's the other <laughs> shitty part. <laughs> That's how you find out if they who really, really wants, wants the to job. be president. Yes, yeah. because if they're getting paid a lot of money, of course, everyone's going to want the job. But if you tell them like, look, it's going to be like eight bucks a day yeah. and you have to pay for parking. <laughs> yeah. at the white house then i think we're <laughs> yeah. really gonna get someone well we'll probably get we'll probably just get someone who gets bribed all day but but still in the in the fiction in this fictional world like the president is paid lower than anyone else well soon maybe as soon as they find out that they're doing something because i feel like that's the kind of job you have where at, no matter like how good you are at the start you're gonna get corrupt in some yeah. way and so they when they find out that you start doing corrupt they're like ah you're doing corrupt you're out of here next guy, next guy. send out the because letters we have like a like unlimited amount of people that we can choose from <laughs> we have how many people live in america like, t- like 10 like 10 yeah. <laughs> we got a whole 10 we got 10 of them you it's your turn <laughs> you get up here turn, yeah. it was my turn last week <laughs> We, just keep we have at least 10 people. We have at least 10 people. We have at least 10 qualified people to be president. In this how, and like States. how many years is that? Uh, uh, what, like 10. F- 10 <laughs> <laughs> years. I don't know. I don't know. I, uh, yeah. <laughs> we, 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 the, the thing is, everybody should, the get, whole 10 years everybody should get a chance to be president. I think that's what we're missing is that they all tell little boys and little girls like, you know, maybe you could be president someday, but that's just not true. But it will be with our new system mm-hmm. of random presidential selection. And think about how easy it would be if we did that system like yeah immediately we'd get a woman in office yeah first trans president yeah first asian president yeah a second black president well black let's not, female that might not be realistic <laughs> in america <laughs> let's, let's, <laughs> let's not, not get crazy, crazy. <laughs> oh, <Whoa. God. laughs> but like seriously i mean we would we would diversify that system immediately and then and then because nobody voted we'd have no problem impeaching right yeah so let's say the guy's doing a terrible job well everybody's be like he sucks yeah get him out because nobody rallied behind them nobody had to wait wait this is actually good nobody had to when you vote for somebody and you believe in them you put emotional investment in them so that when you they find you find out that they that they suck you now have to shoulder that burden like i voted for them i put them in office now I'm wrong. Yeah. That. But if you didn't vote for them and it was a random selection, well, you don't really feel bad telling them to get kicked Mm-mm. out of office. You don't really feel bad saying they sucked. So I feel like, um, you know, as weird as it may be, it may, in some ways, the the random selection president yeah. may actually be a functional system. We would have to do background checks. It's just like, they're so, God, they're so boring, man. Biden is so boring. He's so, yeah, bo- no. I just want like a cool president who like did cool stuff. Like, like what was it? Franklin D. Roosevelt was like a, he he was part of like the Rough Riders Battalion. He went to battle. Right, he did all yeah. this crazy stuff. What Andrew Jackson, even though he kind of he was kind of an asshole, but he would like yeah. push open the doors of Senate and be like veto. Yeah, <laughs> and then he'd walk away, and they're like, "Whoa, <laughs> there's our crazy president." And like the, not yeah. crazy in the Trump way, where you're like sort of afraid of what he's he, doing. It's such a shame because in an alternate universe, he would have been great in just sticking to like reality TV. His tweets are, were so funny. Like when yeah. he had Twitter, like <laughs> like one of my favorite ones was just like <laughs> happy 9-11 to all, all like the losers. all the losers. Yeah. <laughs> it's like it's this. such a strange yeah. sense of humor. Yeah. It, I was like, this is so he's he's just like a silly man. And it sucks that he had to be 
so shitty of a person and just this fascist fucking He would have made horrible. a great reality TV show host for the rest of his life yeah. and lived happily. I mean, what more what more can you want? You know what I mean? When yeah. you're rich and famous and powerful, like and and, and well liked by a certain number of people like what at that point what is the goal? Yeah. And we went from having like Badass presidents, like I don't know, Teddy Roosevelt was pretty cool. Teddy Roosevelt uh, was cool. Yeah. yeah, to to like having a, like a president that tweets like, "I've never seen a skinny person drinking diet coke." Yeah, you're like, huh? Just yeah, and then, and then Biden, where shit. it's just like he he just like zones off, and then I, you start hearing the like the dial up. Yeah. Noises. He's just like, it's almost as if he like spots the Grim Reaper in the distance and that's what he's staring at. And so as long hard, as he can hold on to like, the seat of presidency, he will stay alive. I think that's what's happened is <laughs> the Grim Reaper's like, as long as you're in the seat, I will stay away. But the that's moment the deal we made. The moment you are not reelected, I come for you. And <laughs> oh, he's uh, <laughs> struggling. Yeah, it's like some sort of Scrooge thing. God, you know, I, I, I thought about I thought about making a TikTok saying people should write in my name, but I, I know it wouldn't go viral. I wouldn't want. Oh God, it's so much. I think I, I'd I've make had a, a lot of people president. say Stanzi Potenza for president. So we, should we run? <laughs> we already talked about this in another episode. Oh God! We were like, I could beat you because this is what I'm. No, maybe we, do. maybe we should maybe maybe we should run together like a joint ticket. Yeah, but who yeah. gets to be president? We'll flip a coin. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll vote for Potenza Padre or Padre Potenza. They're crazy. They're gonna flip. We a could coin. always play Russian roulette to no, see which one of us kill gets killed us. first yeah. and then whoever doesn't die gets yes, to be president. Yes, the one who lives has better presidential acumen than the other. We should, uh, in order to pick the new president, we should just do the Hunger Games style. And it's like, you have to really want it if you're yeah. gonna join the ring for that. Yeah, I like that one too. Yeah, fight to the death. And that way that way we, we, that way we know they're at least physically strong. Mm -hmm. Like it makes me, it makes me uneasy to know that like I, like I could take both presidents in a in a fight. Like we need somebody a little bit more powerful. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, someone that I'm like, oh, that's a yeah. that's a tough cookie. Yeah, I'm not tough. gonna or someone I'd at least be excited to meet. Like Biden, like hang out with Biden. That's probably boring as hell. He, oh, he, yeah. he doesn't seem very funny. Ah, whatever. He had a, he had like a moment uh, when he was like uh, a vice president where he was kind of like, oh, that's malarkey, and then everyone's like, ha ha ha. <laughs> he yeah. said malarkey. He said an old word. Uh, we're like, that's funny of that, him. That does not a comic career make. No, that's him. like when your grandma says something strange. Like my grandma, when my grandmother was alive, I remember uh, I was playing Maureen and Rent. Mm. And she was like, how is it playing an L word? <laughs> oh, was, that is funny. We were, I was like, lesbian? <laughs> and then I think the same day, she was like, uh, we had this care we had this uh, cat named Harry Potter. Um, and she was like, How's your cat Charlie Poppins? And oh, that's we a were, funny mistake. We were like, Charlie Poppins, are you talking about Harry Potter? She was like, Ah, that. Hmm. And I actually made I was in high school at the time and we I was in some sort of like film noir type class and we had to make our own like film noir hmm. like movie sort hmm. of it was it was not like a full length or anything hmm. but we had to like make a movie like that and so i named i created a character named charlie poppins oh and yeah. so that memory just triggered yeah i cool. was like yeah i'll just do this and then I, it was a very funny thing and it's not on youtube anymore so don't even try boo boo yeah. brad and i had kind of a well first of all i had uh we just had fourth of july I had the great, I went back to Boston to mm. visit my family at a cousin's wedding and I went back to visit. And I, I don't like the whole airline system, I think as a whole is just super fucked up. Obviously we know about Boeing mm -hmm. and how crazy all that is. Mm -hmm. I think we've talked about that on here. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, Boeing, they're 737 maxes. First of all, when I was flying home, I saw that I was flying on a 737 max and i was like ah fuck um that's great my mom was like i stayed up all night watching yeah that you could that you were like getting here safely and i was like i shouldn't have told you that i was flying home but on on one of those but it's fine 
But then like when I was coming back, I was like, all right, I'm flying another 7.30 Mac, like 7.37 Mac. Let's fucking go. And then I get to the airport. It's like a late flight. So, well, it was like 6.30 was when we were supposed to take off. I We get on the plane and the captain's like, I'm sure you're wondering what the holdup is. Uh, they didn't assign us a loading crew, so we don't have a crew to put your bags on the, the plane. So we have to wait for that to happen. We were like, got it. And then like 30 minutes later, they were like, there's like a maintenance issue on the plane and um, we don't really know what's going on. So we're just going to kind of see it's going to take about an hour and a half. The, the, the check engine light came on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> they they were like, like, we, we actually don't know. I mean, so check engine light comes on. We got to do. Yeah. Gotta, have you tried turning off. it on and off yeah. again? Yeah. That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably what that, the, the new maintenance crew turns it off. Yeah. Turns like, it on again. Like check engine light. Oh, I wonder if planes do have check engine lights. <laughs> they're that just would kicking make it. Sense. They're like, maybe if we kick <laughs> it, it'll like. Turn it off and on again. Yeah. Is, <laughs> they have some guy that they get on task, grab it to come by and yeah. just be like, he's like, ah, I don't know. <laughs> and so. They were like, yeah, it's going to take about an hour and a half. And we were like, oh, fuck. And they were like, if we can't figure out what's going on, hmm. then we're just, we have to deplane. And oh, we were like, no. got it. So then they deplane. And then we're all standing like by the like entrance. By the way, like I was like, I have cats to come home to. Brad was feeding my cats and I was mm -hmm. like, and then he had to feed them an extra day. because I did. Yeah, because I uh, couldn't I actually get... was with a bunch of people. We were considering going up to your apartment and having a drink and I was going to take pictures. That's funny. I mean, like we're going to, we, but we we ran out of time. We had something else to do, but. Oh, that's kind of like, funny I was though. like, I was like, Ooh, should we bring everybody up to Stanzi's and pretend like we're having a rage here? But No, that's actually, I would have thought that I was I would have thought you would have liked yeah, it too. Yeah, yeah, that would have been good. But I, I was like, God fucking damn it. Like all I wanted to do was go home and see my cats. Mm. I was like, my little beastie boy, man, he's waiting for me at home. Yeah. I was so excited and then I couldn't see him. That's my cat voice. Um, I was like, fuck. Okay, so like, then they were like, okay, um, we're gonna try to figure out what's going on with the plane, but we do have another plane coming in from Newark that we can like get you onto. And so I was like, great. And they were like, okay, boarding time's gonna be 9.30. And I was like, awesome, we're going to do it. We're going to get on. I'm going to get on this plane. It's going to be later than I like wanted to come home, but that's mm. fine. And then they were like, actually, it's going to be like 10, 15. Actually, make it 10, 45. Mm. And then they were like, how's 11, 15 sound to you? And I'm like, mm, not great. 11, 30, give me a go once, go on twice. <laughs> yeah. Who wants 11, 30? 11, 30. Dude, I, I think it'd be funny if they... <laughs> tried to make it seem like it's a good thing. Like, guess what? We're giving you some more time to shop at our wonderful They get airport. bottle girls to come yeah, out and yeah. they're like, how's 11.30 a.m.? Yeah, they should, they should make a little bit more of a, like, a scene out of it because that yeah. might make us a little less angry. A little less angry because we were all like, it was late at that point and I'm just sitting at the fucking airport for hours. Mm -hmm. At that point, I was probably there for like five or six hours and I'm like, God fucking damn it. And then they were like, Guess what's canceled? <laughs> 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 well, why did I do it for an air horn? It's like, wah, wah, wah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they bring out a DJ. Guess what? <laughs> yeah. You've been canceled. DJ You've been blown. Kelly. <laughs> yeah, they were like, and I'm like, oh, fuck. It's 737 Max coming at you <laughs> with the new news of your flight. It's been canceled. Yeah, yeah. They should really spend all that extra profit that the Boeing guy got yeah. just on like, just on like party yeah. favors. Because he gave himself DJ like what, like a thirty, like 30 million dollar increase, million yeah. dollar raise. So I'm like, take some of that. Just from just from like just the last year, they're like, yeah, huh? You're making th you're making thirty million now. Like, yeah. So what do you think about thirty more million? Just huh. get some confetti. I mean, we're we're essentially putting tape on our doors, but yeah, thirty million dollar raise sounds yeah 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 fine yeah and, and like so I'm like the, use some of that money the gall the gall that's yeah that's God. insane the gall I remember yeah I mean so so for those of you who who haven't seen it there's a a clip of a senator grilling the Boeing this the head of Boeing and it's just one of the most cynically weird conversations he's you know the senator goes oh um you received a raise this year didn't you. The guy goes, yes. Yeah. He goes, you mind telling me how much? And the guy's like, it's a substantial sum. So like you initially, or some of the words that are like that, you initially know that like whatever number that is, is bad because this the Boeing guy doesn't want to say it. Like if you asked me how much money I made on a deal and I'm like, 
It's a lot. Like, you uh, know that it's something that if I told you, it might alter the dynamic of our relationship yeah. somehow. And so, yeah. And he's, you know, the senator goes, well, tell me. He's like, $30 million. So it's $30 million above what you made last yeah. year, right? And he's like, well, do you think you deserve, isn't, you know, accountability part of your job? And just like, I always think about how many more employees that could have paid, supplies, safety measures. Like, they're always looking for deregulation, deregulation, deregulation. And like when you have deregulation, you have shit like planes falling out of the sky. Like I, I'm not saying regulation doesn't have its own set of like corruptible standards, but you need these implement, you need these things in place because otherwise you will end up with, with horrific accidents that injure and maim and kill people. Yeah. And I, I you know, I, I'm not going to talk too, too much trash about this, but like to give you an example of a place with bad infrastructure, you know, uh, many, not many years ago, but maybe like. 10 years ago, I visited India. And uh, it's no secret that their infrastructure is not good. I'm not saying anything that's particularly unknown. All the, all the flights were late. You know, everything seemed very backed up. And I remember we were driving past a certain road. And the, on one side was nice buildings and the other side was all rubble. People living in the rubble. And I, you know, I asked my driver, I was like, what happened there? Because everything on this side of the street seems perfect. And now it's literally rubble. And they're like, yeah, so... So this guy sold like fake property contracts that he didn't own to people and then Ooh. people bought them and then they built houses and then people bought the houses and the government's like, nobody should have built anything here. This is zoning for new road development. How did this happen? And like, like everyone's pointing their fingers and the government's like, well, we got to destroy the houses. Like oh this is God. happening. So, cause the rubble wasn't like old rubble. It was like, seemed very new. Yeah. And so I don't know what the legal ramifications are, but like, that's the kind of thing, you know, that and like plane crashes, the kind of thing that happens when you don't have oversight, yeah. you know? Um, the, but, but at least use some of that money to, to you know, when you're deplaning people <laughs> and canceling flights, like spice it up yeah, a little bit. You bring out some dancers. Bow, 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 bow. Yeah. You bring out, sexy girls dressed as planes or or you know what they need they need graphics like at the bowling alley you know how the bowling alley when you get a strike <laughs> yeah. like the bowl hits the little pin monster pin guys I, they need like those like they need all of a sudden the screens flash red and there's like guess what you've been delayed and then like there's a shot of an island and like people waving like we can't wait to see you yeah and it's like here's how much longer you've got here's you've been delayed yeah one hour Play some dubstep, you know, <laughs> like, but I was, you know, I was, at least I was in Boston. So I could have, I, I went back home to my mom's house and I was like, yeah. all right, you know, I'll get some extra time with my mom. And then my new flight was at like eight in the morning or mm -hmm. like nine in the morning. So I had to get there around like eight. They get us on board. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna like get home. And this is great. We get on the plane. They go, they go. I'm sure you're wondering what the holdup is. I'm like, I sure am. And they were like, we, uh, the 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 first officer hasn't shown up. Got it. And we don't know where he is. And if we can't get him here, we're gonna have to deplane. And we were like, fucking a dude. That is so. That is so sick. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. And then. Like they're like, we we're gonna give it 10 minutes and then we'll give you an update. And then the guy comes back, he's like, Hey everyone, I got news and it's not good news. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, be fun about hey, it. Yo. And they was like, We got a deep lane. And I was <laughs> like, And everyone's like, They're playing Sandstorm. That what a good throwback. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I'll deep lane. And then we fucking deplane again for the second time in like two days. And they were like, yeah, we're gonna, at, at that might, my, my dad calls me. He's like, you gotta be a fucking bitch right now. He was like, I, I know like it's not nice to be, but he was like, you gotta mm. be a dick right now. Cause my stepmom flies all the time and yeah. she has to be a dick a lot. And he was like, you have to, you have to go and you have to tell them like anything. You have to, you have to be like, I'm a touring comedian and yeah. da, 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 da. And I was like, okay. But I didn't have to do that. Cause they were like, we have a, another 
plane. Oh no, we have a first officer mm. that is on his way. He's gonna be there. And I, we were just so, all of us were just sitting there like. <laughs> yeah, that sounds Yeah, awful. thank God we had bottle girls and, yeah. and sexy if plane only, dancers. Yeah, the, and thank God Darude Sandstorm was playing on loop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank God they had like and, uh, DJ Khaled come by. And then, I mean, your day. Jason Derulo stopped by. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, we had like, celebrity was, appearances. Yeah, yeah. To we like had, stall you. Yeah, we had openers and stuff. If they don't have a celebrity, they can do one of those like performance art things where like one of the members of the flight crew has to stand there and it's like you can do whatever you want to me <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and it's sort of like awkward like people are hovering around them like how mad are you <laughs> he like, comes out and he has a sign that's just like hug me if you've had a terrible day oh, that's funny. <laughs> there's just a line waiting for him <laughs> yeah they have funny. to do something to spice up or like that situation punch, punch a punch a boeing punch a boeing executive <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> like he comes out he's like i'm gonna be here for 15 minutes <laughs> and it's just, <laughs> just a, it's ready. just a hired actor yeah yeah, that they're like not. Yeah, that's what he should be doing with some of the thirty-three million. Yeah, hiring crisis actors. To but show it was up. so bad. And my like before that, my sister's flight had got canceled like a few days before. I was like, Jesus Christ! And you this landed, is awful. And then, then we went out partying. Yeah, and then we went out partying. We went mm. to like three. Went different three parties. parties. Well, well, went to one party and then an after party. Yeah, after party. And then party. another party. The the first two were good. The first, first two, two were, were really good. Yeah. good. The second, the the last one, we got in late, but it was a bit more of a scene, and we had to wait outside like it was a club because it was so dumb. The, our friend, our friend whose name was on the list, wasn't there, but the crowd was sizable outside, and it was yeah. all along a narrow street in the hills. And when we pulled up, there was security and they wouldn't let people up on a certain, they wouldn't let people up a certain road. They're like, no, you're gonna have to walk from here. And I found, I found a workaround and got up there anyways. Yeah. He like lied. He I heard, lied. I lied. They said, they said a name at the gate. They were he like, heard they were someone like, else say a yeah, name. Yeah. I heard someone else say the name. I don't even want to say the name just in case this is like somebody who would get mad at me. Yeah. For this. But it, you know, he was basically I'm going like, to say Jeffy, you know. Yeah. He's the, like, oh, is, is bingo yeah. up here? Yeah. Bingo, bingo. So, so while we were talking to the security guard, a, 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 like a car pulls up with guys who are like much more aggressive than, than me and they're like yo we're with bingo you don't need to check us we're with bingo let us up and the guys are like, oh well, you're with bingo shit let him up. <laughs> so then i i went around i was like well i don't want to drive up there so i went around and i found a second road with a security guard he's like hey what are you doing i'm like uh i'm here with bingo and he let me right up, right <laughs> up. Crazy. and we saved ourselves one hell of a walk so i know because that was crazy it was a, crazy a walk, walk like that was like yeah potentially up, it was like... up these hills and so the two the two fun things i gleaned from that night is at the first party which was an anime expo party uh, for uh, a couple of friends of ours, they were starting a, a channel. Um, I met one. I met. I finally met the first person besides myself who will Zillow an address before they go oh, yeah. to see what the house looks like and see how much it is. Like, am I partying at a nice place? Or am I partying at a normal place? Or am I partying at like a fucking mansion or a shack? Not that it matters. I'll still go no matter what. But I still like to. Hey, you know, this is what it looks like. It also helps me when I arrive in case there are like two or three houses that might look similar. I'm yeah. like, oh no, it's this one with the blue windows. But the other, um, wait, where was I going with that? Is the other thing I gleaned is that we were stuck in the worst fucking traffic jam on the way out oh, that yeah. it was unbelievable because when they shut the lights off at the second party, like yeah, they everyone were, left. Everyone was leaving at the same time. And there were what, like 200 people. At there that. were 200 people at least. And like everyone's calling Ubers at the same time. So we were just gridlocked for more than 20 minutes. But it wasn't even because of that. It was because Some we were jack, like, yeah. We, yeah, we were basically stuck in traffic. It wasn't moving at all. And then at one point, this girl, she walks by us. And then as she's walking back, she goes, I fixed it. And then we were like, huh? Because there were a bunch of weirdos that were walking by yeah. us and stuff, just like drunk people. Like there were a lot of drunk people. Brad and I kind of stopped drinking. So now that like, I mean, not that I was, it's been, I don't know, like I haven't been really drinking for at least a year um, you know, like I'll have maybe a drink every now and then, but you, mm -hmm. yeah, but like I've, it's weird I've when you no longer, extra like I didn't drink any alcohol that night. Yeah. Like it's weird when you aren't really drinking to see, I'm like, ah, I used to do that. It was like yeah. all these girls, like stumbling guys, stumbling around. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. We, we knew it was time to leave as soon as we started to see like a couple fight in front of us. Oh, like yeah. do one of those, we were like, like, leave ah, me alone. Yeah. Jeremy, come here. No, I don't want to talk to you. Jeremy, come here we now. Like, and I'm like, oh, no. I'm like, I felt a uh, I felt a shift in the air and I'm like, we got to go now. But we were like, and we, when we were in the car, the, when this girl walks by and she goes, I fixed it. I started to see cars move. And I was like, wait, yeah. I think she's right. I think she did fix it. And then you like yelled out to her. You were like, what, what happened? She goes, a guy parked his Tesla 
directly in the middle of the road. So what's like, crazy is why didn't like like she was a woman on foot. She fixed it. But why someone must have been right directly behind Why didn't behind whoever him? was behind her fix it? Maybe they were just assholes and they were just waiting them out. I was like, like, I, but like for 20 minutes, yeah. we're not going to try to go and find out why this so, person is like yeah. parked in, in the middle of the road because like there must have been like 50 cars behind him. It was, it was a brutal, it was really brutal bad. scene. And People so, were coming outside and filming us the in traffic the traffic. Gym, yeah. uh, a girl gave bad. me a piece of pizza, a girl who I had met earlier yeah. in the day passed by. I'm like, could I get one of those? I think I'm going to be here for a while. I'm glad I had it because I was really hungry. She just came and I sat there and ate the pizza and chatted with her. And I was like, if this keeps going, I'm going to ask if I can get water from your house or use the bathroom. Because I know, Brad I really, was almost like, I think we should just park and then go see yeah, your house. I was, and I was like, I don't know if I want, I don't I have was, the energy to be like social, social yeah. at that point. Because also like we had come from an anime party too. And like on the invite, they were like, we encourage people to dress up as That's anime true. characters. So I was dressed up as an anime character. Brad wasn't. But then we go from that party because we didn't plan on going to the other party. No. And if we had, then I wouldn't have dressed up. Correct. Because I thought it was this something was that was thrown in at the last last minute. minute. But then I'm like, just in cosplay. No, I mean the other friends random... we were with were also in cosplay, but yeah. it was it was not. I was like, the this outfit. is. I was like, like this is very. Silly. The last party was a 100 percent like LA ish. And it was just not party. fun. And it, it wasn't fun. It was very crowded. It wasn't. Fun. But but bear in mind, we got there when they ran out of liquor. But I feel like it was. I feel like it was a less. Like the anime crew was like very funny and silly a lot and of these lively. LA mansion parties. I I I I think we've talked about this before, but like they have all of the fixings to make a really fun rager, but it's like a lot of the people involved they are take them good. not fun. They they take themselves very seriously in that environment. And maybe one day I'll like become friends with somebody who's like sort of more plugged into that like like so why why pretend like you're not having fun the whole time you know yeah, what i mean it's like weird. why why are you smiling only when the camera's on kind of deal like eh, you know may, maybe maybe i just need to socialize a little bit more to understand it but but it just didn't seem very fun yeah it was yeah. like no one yeah like it was kind of like Everyone was sort of like sectioned off in their little. Well, maybe, uh, maybe okay. And this is just a theory, but maybe it's because the main element of that party is specifically people trying to. And, and parties, don't get me wrong, parties are definitely places to find someone to hook up with. That is one hundred percent good. But I feel like that's the entire focus. I did chat with a friend of mine at the party who we didn't come with, and like basically most of what he talked about was the girls there. Like that oh, was yeah. that was what was important. Is is it wasn't the uh, and that's that's fine. That's a priority. That's a priority. But I feel like I feel like maybe that's the part we're missing. Is that at the at ideally at our friend at our friends after party and at the anime party, it wasn't a party that was solely focused on like trying to have sex with someone. Yeah, I guess that is true. Yeah, because that that was like the one of the he was also super drunk, but he was just kind of like, oh, look at all the babes, and I'm just like, ugh. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know. We don't really hang out with people like that. But I yeah. guess that is. I'm like, I guess. Yeah, I guess people do have sex with each other. I think. I I think. You know, I'm just a married guy. I don't really plug in. But you know, um, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, I guess that's why the parties <laughs> are are less fun is because it's more romantic interest because people. Apparently, it's hard to date in L.A. Apparently, it's hard to meet someone oh, new. Oh yeah, no, I so, haven't dated like at all hmm. i had like one <laughs> sort of weird i'm not gonna talk about it on here. not not yet <laughs> no good We're not but i had like about... sort of like one weird situation with a friend that didn't end well uh. and also the other thing is like i i always anytime i get involved with someone it's like they always end up being a musician. Ugh, lame. And, uh, <laughs> Musicians. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, because then they, like, fucking write music about you. Oh, yeah. And, like, I've talked about this, like, on my last podcast, but, like, when my ex and I broke up, well, like, when we had first gotten together, he had, like, he was writing music about and it was involving like his ex a little bit. And uh -huh. It was kind of like, I'm doing so much better after this breakup kind and of music. So I was like. Yep, that makes sense. That's what musicians do, yeah, I that, guess. That is what they do. But then when we broke up, 
Then I got like a whole album and I was like, Jesus Christ. And there was like, <laughs> there was like a spoken word intro basically being like, it's you. Uh, it's, yeah, it was like, it was like, this isn't necessarily about her, but I was like, I don't know. The fact that you just did a spoken wor word intro mm -hmm. to preface that is sort of, I don't know, yeah. kind of, yeah. And it was like, yeah, a bunch of, it was like songs that he wrote for me while we were dating. And then it was like songs about like, Ah, my whole life life just went crazy because of this breakup, and I was like, "Oh God!" Well, but that's I mean, what happens when you date musicians. Does it did it boost your ego a little that somebody wrote an entire album about you, or you were just sort of over it? I think I was just more like w when I saw that there was uh, like a new album, I was like, "No, nah, it's not going to be <sighs> what I think it is." Right, and then I was like, "Oh, it is. That's crazy." That is um, very funny. I guess it is sort of like. I don't know, maybe it was an ego boost, but I was more just kind of like, ha <laughs> that's crazy. Mm. But I mean, yeah, that's, and then like, I don't know. Then I, it was the other guy was uh, also a musician, also very much like a sad boy. I write yeah, you've got a, songs about You've got a type, it's, it's wafy, sad boy musician uh, types. Yeah, and it's just rough. And that's, we hang out with a lot of those, unfortunately. Mostly we those. hang out with yeah. mostly I those. Don't, I, I, I don't hang out with a lot of like uppity pop <laughs> musicians. It's slim pickings yeah, in LA. Slim, and the, uh, slim honestly, pickings in this scene. We had a friend that like kind of moved out of the state because of how bad the dating scene was here. Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah. She, yeah. she moved. She moved to the <laughs> East Coast. She was like, "I'm so tired of the men here. They they must be that bad." I just got lucky. I met my wife the first weekend. I started are, dating here, and it was amazing. And yeah. now I'm married with a baby. So. Yeah, I know. I mean, I maybe just, moral of the story is the girls in LA are cool. <laughs> the girls in LA are cool. I I guess it seems like the guys. If are you horrific. if you work hard and believe in yourself, you might find someone cool to date in LA. I don't know. I like I like a lot of the people in LA. I feel like and I do like a, a lot of people. Rap. I yeah. just think that for dating, it's you I, know. Yeah, I feel like a lot of the single girls I know are very very cool. Well, yeah. I mean, the guy that I was sort of seeing, yeah, we were very good friends before we had sex with each other. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> so you Taylor? can meet very good friends here yes you can meet very good very good friends, friends here and then if you and then have sex with them and not speak to them and anymore. then not speak to them that's a yes. great if you don't want to speak to someone that's anymore correct. have sex with them correct that's <laughs> the best way <laughs> to not speak to someone is to have sex with them. exactly yeah. that is the moral of the story All of this right. episode glad glad we could iron that out so yeah so thank uh, you uh, thank you for listening thank you i did want to say one more thing okay. about that party and I feel like this is something I need to vocalize so that I remember it. And from now on, if I'm invited to a party in any sort of hilly urban area, like in yeah. Los Angeles, I am going to look at the map and I'm going to take a look at what their road system's like. Because if they have a narrow road with only one way in and out to get to that place, and it's one of these rinky dink roads where like you got to, it's not really two lanes. You got to sort of go around people. I will make sure to leave that party early mm -hmm. to not have the same mistake. And you should too. And that Use, is the other moral of the story. Yeah, yes. Uh, sleep with someone and not talk to them. And always Google Maps the party to see the logistical situation. So, so thank, thank you for tuning in to, to Late, late to, to the Party episode, episode 7. seven. We can't wait to see you again. Goodbye.